it's Diorama Don here in another of the series, uh, Back to Basics. So what we're going to do is uh, corners, corners of buildings, how to, uh, how to make a corner of a building. So we've got a, a corner here. This is uh, three mil cardboard, but it could just as easily be thin styrofoam or whatever material you're used to working with. Uh, but whatever, it's always a problem with, with what to do at corners. So, uh, the one idea is to, uh, with a piece of 2mm cardboard, and then just score halfway through the card, and then bend it like so, and that will cover that joint there, like that. But then you've got this still, you've still got this open uh, gap down here, which then has still got to be filled. So what is possible <laughs> sometimes, and if I can do it, is to cut a groove 45 degrees that way. And a 45 degrees that way, take that out and ease it over. And if you're lucky, yeah, that's okay. You can put that there, and that will block off the uh, the corner there like that and there's no no edge there to uh, to fill in can you see that so that's one way of uh, hiding a corner hiding the joints of a corner so that that's all it is just a, a, a 90 degree uh, cut out that side and then it it will eventually bend to a 90 degree bend and uh, sit over there. So there we go, there's one way. Another way, which is what I much prefer, is um, again two millimeter card. Three millimeter is just a little, in, in uh, 135 scale terms, is just a little bit too thick. Uh, two millimeter is better. Uh, so Cut, uh, well, just a piece of card then, and measure all down one edge um, 12 millimeter or half an inch. So uh, half an inch gap all the way along there. And then uh, 9 sixteenths or what is it, 14 millimeters in from one edge. And then 3 eighths or 10 millimeters in from. Uh, that edge. So 12 millimeter that way, 14 millimeter that way, and 8 millimeter that way. Okay, so what you do then is turn it over and then about 1 16th from the edge, cut a 45 degree angle with a very sharp knife it works works okay okay so we've got a 45 degree angle there turn it over cut down the line a straight cut we got it so we've got that shape then do the same again Turn it over and again a sixteenth of an inch from the edge, cut a 45 degree angle or thereabouts. Like that again, turn it back over and cut a straight cut on the 3 8 line, like that. 
So we've got half an inch all the way down there on both pieces. One piece is uh, nine sixteenths. The other piece is three eighths. Uh, yeah, that, that's the size you need. Okay. And then just stick your knife on the pencil line and cut these off into individual pieces. I like so. So what we've got then is a piece um, fr from, <laughs> from the edge of the uh, 45 degree angle from there to the end is half an inch, 9 16th in total but half an inch from there to there and half an inch from there to there. So we've got a half inch square that will sit beyond there like that. So when we butt another piece up to it the other side it will uh, make a, a 90 degree angle. Uh, but before we do that on the other three sides with a piece of sandpaper just take a chamfer off the edge of the cardboard like that like that and like that so we've got that kind of shape and then the other side we've got the uh, the, the angle there so when we put them all together, well, I've, I haven't got any others yet. I haven't done them, uh, but it'll be uh, a, a big one and then a small one, big one, small one, big one, small one. And that will make up uh, what I'm reliably informed, um, a very kind um, subscriber of mine informed me that they are called coins. It's Q-U-O-I-N-S, coins. Uh, that's the shape of the, uh, the edging of a building. So I'll, I'll cut a few more out and uh, stick them on and I'll show you uh, the end result. That's basically what, what we're doing. We want a 45 degree angle on one edge and then just uh, chamfer with a uh, piece of sandpaper on the other three edges. Okay, have we got that? Good. So I'll, ca I'll do that. So I'll, I'll make, uh, I'll put my coins down that part of the uh, building there. And then uh, because this is um, uh, cut away, uh, this is, this ref represents a bombed building. Uh, we, so the rest of it is, um, uh, what do you call it, rendered. And then it, 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 we are exposing the brick from the render. So there is brick here and render here. Okay. <laughs> so if you follow my instructions <laughs> on how to make uh, house bricks uh, using red tile grout, these are some, some uh, bricks I've, I've already made. Uh, as long as they're absolutely dry and I get it the right way around, it is possible without cutting your finger off to cut these I don't know <laughs> not not over the top of a bloody camera it's not <laughs> um, hang on here we go yes got it it is possible to cut an angle of 45 degrees on the is it focusing is that better? Well, near enough. And if you did it without a camera between you and this and the knife, it, it would be a lot easier. But it is possible uh, to cut those bricks at an angle, uh, a 45 degree angle. So as they are put on there, then another piece will go there, also with a 45 degree angle, therefore forming a 90 degree corner. So again, I will do those uh, and fill these, fill this area with brick. 
and this area with coins and I'll come back and show you the effect. Okay, so I stuck my cornerstones, my coins on the corner. Uh, big one, small one, big one, small one, and then the opposite this side, small one, big one, small one, big one. So that gives the impression that, and then just a slight gap between the stones makes it look a bit better as well. And because you chamfered the edges of those three sides, well, I did, <laughs> um, it looks like a, a, a dressed stone. That's what dressed stones are like. And then uh, just put the bricks uh, in this area here and, and cutting each of these corner bricks at a 45 degree angle. And not doesn't necessarily have to be that accurate or perfect, but as long as it gives some kind of impression of a, a sharp corner like that. Okay, so what we need to do now is fill our bricks with mortar. Um, and because it's cut, this is cardboard, it's not the best material to paint on or to work on. So we need a basis from which to work. So I've got some wall filler uh, from the local DIY shop, very inexpensive. Uh, put a little bit in this tub with a, just a little bit of water, doesn't need too much water. Uh, as it is, like this it's too thick to, uh, to to paint with but just a small amount of water makes it pliable enough and then I added just a small amount of black paint just to give it that grey colour which is near enough the colour of uh, mortar so we'll uh, fill in the gaps between the bricks with this I've done this before in other videos, so you may have seen this all before. So all the gaps are filled there now. But we can use this also on the rest of the uh, corner. Not too much so it loses definition. just uh, like an, ooh, it's an undercoat really and then we can do the rest of the cardboard or whatever is here the, uh, the whatever the building is that you're making as an undercoat for whatever finish you want there so I'll do, just do the one side so that's what we need and you, I've forgotten to bring one in but with a with the back of a washing up sponge the, the rough side you can dab on these stones so to give it a, a, a mottled mottled kind of look that you might find on a cornerstone to give it that um, mottled look is that right mottled <laughs> Okay, what I need to do as well now is, is take off the excess on the bricks with the, the other side of the washing up sponge and um, that'll be that. So I'll do that, I'll finish this off and let it dry uh, and then uh, come back and we'll do the rest. So there we are, at one corner finished. I left the, um, the coins the same color, uh, the uh, the grey color that I did for the mortar for the bricks. Uh, I left those the same color and if you look very closely where I, yeah you can just see that. Just before the uh, filler dried I just dabbed over with the back of a washing up sponge, the rough side, uh, just to give it that um, rough look which looks pretty good on those uh, cornerstones. Uh, I, I just painted over with a, a red grout 
and, uh, and a black wash over the top and then just went over with a piece of sandpaper really that's all and the bricks uh, just as that, that's how they came out <laughs> it's just what they ended up as uh, by the time I'd taken off the excess uh, I just left them as they were there's no dry brushing no painting anyway that's a, a corner of a building so uh, I mean you, you could like I say put a, a folded piece of uh, card all the way up but I think this looks uh, a little better uh, the bricks especially when uh, when seeing the end of a brick I mean you just would not see that so uh, by by cutting that 45 degree angle on on all the end pieces then it looks uh, so much more professional okay so that's how I do the corner of a building um, I've just started my next project so you are privy to the very next next one so I've just put the uh, uh, coins all the way up both sides and there and there didn't take long really just a little bit of patience and, and about 25 hours of your time that's a, <laughs> no it only took me half an hour an hour maybe so it does make corners look so much better okay there we are thank you very much for watching um, I'd really really like it if you subscribe to the channel click that like button uh, press the subscribe button and you'll be notified when new videos come along there are uh, 50 55 odd I think there's 55 videos now that I've done so please press subscribe um, this will be the next project uh, but I'll explain in the next video uh, so in the meantime um, I'll just leave you with this thought. Happy modeling.